Rightio, EGD learners, I know you've all been asking how do we do the civil title panel as a requirement of the PAT for engineering graphics and design. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing in detail, according to SANS, what is the requirements of a title panel for civil working drawings. And please remember, your civil title panel must conform to these requirements specifically on your first working drawing, which will be your floor plan. The other drawings, of course, can have just a border with your name, your surname, your page number, the title of the drawing, and the actual date on which that drawing was completed. That's the only requirements for the following working drawings, elevations, uh, sectional elevation, two-point perspectives, and even the site plan. But for your floor plan, you must adhere to a full civil title panel according to Sun's. Let's have a look. Right, though, so if we look at the checklist provided for civil path tasks in EGD grade 11 and 12, point number four asks of you to provide layout drawings and pictorial drawings of selected solutions on drawing sheets that is prepared according to this criteria here. Okay, so let's look at what are the requirements. Appropriately sized drawing sheets used. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that means you must use A3 paper when doing your actual working drawings. That's your floor plans, your elevations, your sexual elevations, your two-point perspectives, your site plans must be on A3 pages. Each of these papers must have correct borders on all drawing sheets of all the working drawings. So it's a border, okay, on all of these sheets. I'll show you practical examples in a moment. And then you have to complete the SANS 10143 compliant civil title panel on the first drawing sheet. So the first drawing sheet, that's your floor plan. Just write it in here. Your floor plan must have a SANS compliant civil title panel. And I'm going to show you an example and do an in-depth discussion of this in this video. So keep watching. Okay, floor plan. And then, of course, all of this is total for you to get a 10 out of 10. Now, let's look at some practical examples here. Okay, appropriately sized drawing sheets. In other words, we're having an A3 page here. We have a border going all the way around. And on the right hand side of your actual floor plan, you need a civil title panel, a full civil title panel. Here's another example. It's maybe a little bit light. I hope you can see this here. But again, we've got our borders and a civil title panel on the side. Here's another example. Floor plan with a border and a full scale civil title panel. And here's my last example again. Full scale title panel with a border. Okay, with that shown, let me go over to actually discussing the details of this civil title panel. Okay, so here is the requirements as stated by SANS for a civil title panel. I also have it in the download link below. But our discussion needs to start of the purpose of a title panel. It really is to kind of have a summary of for who that drawing is intended and what who made the drawing and what do we have on that actual drawing. And it's always going to be on the bottom right hand side of a drawing for ease of reference. And what is included in the title panel is indicated here. First of all, you'll have a project title. In other words, new proposed timeshare uh, reception and spa or new proposed uh, dwelling or new proposed clubhouse, etc. Whatever uh, drawing you are going to be doing, that's your title. The subject of that drawing, is it a floor plan, is it an elevation? Uh, in your case, it's going to be a floor plan. What scale you were using, the date of that drawing, the project number. Now that's normally internally, and you can come up here with your own project number, um, you know, just as a fictitious project number. The actual drawing number, in other words, is this the first drawing of that floor plan? Or has there been any revisions? We'll look at the details in a moment. Code references, if appropriate. Name of architect, in other words, your name um, and your address and telephone number. Now, of course, you can also come up here with a fictitious architecture company in your name if you'd like to. But that's kind of uh, uh, important, going to be your address and your contact details. These days, you can even add an email address. All right. 
name of project architect engineer etc who is the lead architect on this uh, project and that can again be your name it should also give the names or initials of the persons who drew the drawing uh, who traced it or prepared it and who checked the drawing uh, there you can use fictitious names of course for yourself okay here's some examples of civil title panels now let's just look at this one here in the middle which is the clearest for us All right of course there's a reference code at the bottom the date drawn by uh, initials who checked it and the scale used then the drawing number again remember these things are more used in corporate architect firms you can come up with fictitious ones for those information that you of course aren't sure of uh, project number and then the project proposed new uh, dwelling or proposed in your case new timeshare reception and day spa area with a deck at stand 82 etc etc so that will be very specific to your pet requirements for grade 11s this of course will look different the title the drawing title in your case it will be floor plan uh, because that is the one which is required for the civil uh, title panel printed by and the date of print then your uh, company details uh, and then the revisions the date and the description of course we're going to start from the bottom to the top and this is really nice to add this in uh, especially if you have done a floor plan and your teacher gives you a revision then that's nice to add that in because you're drawing in pencil you can go and correct that afterwards okay uh, in the space below you can draw a uh, 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 okay of course this is now for any symbols that might be required uh, even projection symbols other than that some of my learners in the examples that i'm going to show you now they've put in their actual um, uh, symbols that they actually used in their drawing like for instance a washed up etc and then you're going to have to have your architect signature and the client signature of course and then there's a couple of notes uh, of course you can come up with your own notes or you can just copy that all right that's examples of civil title panels here on the left hand side there's an empty one the width roundabout is 100 millimeters and it goes the full length of your page so make sure you take a look at this and you make sure that you got get yours as close as possible if you do it similar to this you're going to get 10 out of 10. Radio. okay that was a couple of practical examples thank you so much for watching now you can go and you can nail that civil title panel. Now it's your turn. <music>